Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and today I would like to share a story from Japan. This is a real life story which happened to me and many other people and I think together we all can learn a lot from this incident aka story of Japan. The thing is that when you travel a lot, you become very open-minded person as well as you interact with so many people that incident stories keep on constantly happening with you. This is one such story which happened to me and many other people in Japan at the same time and I think if we focus a bit on this story, we can learn a lot which world right now really needs. So here we go. When I was planning my Japan trip, I thought that on the very first day of the January, I would like to be in Tokyo and I would like to go on some street shopping. I guess the name of the street was Akihabara, which is very famous for anime and video game shopping and computer components. So obviously I need to go there. Apart from that, I'll just take a city tour. We'll go in a nice restaurant, have some lunch and that was pretty much the plan. I definitely can do all of this on my own but there are many tour organizations and agencies in Japan which take care of most of these things, gives you a nice coach and a tour guide and just roams you around in the entire city. Anybody can just walk into their store and can just be in the coach and part of it. I did the same thing, I booked it in advance because I am aware that on the very first day, the first January in Japan, nobody likes to work. All of these people simply like to just chill out in the temples and with their family and nobody is quite working on the very first January. But of course in every part of the world there are some people who are looking up for some extra cash and they work on these days. I asked the company that whether you are organizing any such tour they said no all of our drivers are on holidays on an advance leave but there is just one guy who is ready to go on the 31st of January but he's charging more. I said no issues and so did other 20 or 30 people who booked the, this entire tour with me and said okay we are ready to pay him extra uh, because obviously it's the 1st of January and we booked the tour. So I was coming from Hiroshima to Tokyo from a bullet train which was a nice experience. I saw the driver right in front of the station, I jumped into it the, in the coach and it was all nice, nothing wrong so far. But I couldn't help noticing that the driver of my bus was wearing a Rolex. And I thought, this is interesting. And I said to him that, hey, nice watch. And he smiled at me and just went back to his work. Now later on in the interaction with the guide, this Japanese dude, I found out that the driver of the company is not the driver. He's the president of the company. I asked him that why he came, he said driver couldn't came so he came to drive us all the around in Tokyo and he was lifting all the suitcases, doing all the work that the driver usually does in Japan and I was simply just amazed that with a smile a boss is coming around the president of the company and is driving me around in the Tokyo. I couldn't stop myself. I went to that company's president and asked him how many employees are working for you right now. He says, I didn't count it very well, but I guess above 100. I said, how many bus coaches are there in your company? He said, about 30. And how many taxis? He said, I don't remember the exact number, but maybe around 45 or something. And me, along with me, all other people in the bus coaches were really surprised that the president of the company himself is driving us around, doing all the work, and we were super happy. Now at the same time, I asked him that why he came up and why the driver couldn't came up, although we were paying him extra. Now this guy, president, told me that the guy which was hired from our company uh, couldn't came up and the last moment he just cancelled the stuff. Since already all staff was on holiday, I thought I should not make a boo on your holidays. Uh, that's why I came up and I'll be driving around. Now at this exact same moment, everybody, all of the people in the coach were admiring that how down to earth and how willing about the commitment this president is. On the other side, the person who made the commitment didn't came out and were hating him. And of course, the guy first made a commitment, didn't show up, but this president of the company showed up. This is really, really an interesting perspective here. So on the one hand, I got this person who is committed towards his commitments, his work, his profile, and is driving me around wearing a Rolex in his hand. 
being a president of the company, he's so committed and down to earth. So everybody was appreciating him. On the other hand, the original bus driver who was supposed to come didn't came up. So everybody was inside a little bit angry and were hating him that he failed to do the commitment and all of the stuff. Now, yes, of course, till now, the hero of the story is this president who actually did a uh, a little bit more than anybody can do and is driving me around. Everybody was super happy. But this also happens in the real world. When you hear one side of the story, you take a person as a hero, other person as a villain, and that's pretty much the end of the story. But that is never the end of story, my friend. I again went back to this president. Yes, I was asking a lot of questions and I asked him, are you going to fire that person who didn't show up beyond making these commitments? And he said, no, I'm not going to fire him. Now, a president who is such a mature person is not going to fire him. I asked him that I know I'm putting my nose too much here, but I would like to know the reason. I cannot go back to my home country assuming that a person who made a commitment didn't show up and you just showed up. What's the entire story? Please tell me. And he said, the person who was there, who was supposed to pick you up, was really a, is really a nice person and he was earning this extra cash for his father. His father was suffering from a disease and now his condition is at a very much worst state. And that's why he decided that money now is not at all a big deal for me. And I know I made a commitment. I'm really sorry about it. But my father needs me more. So instead of giving him extra cash and anything, he said, if you want, you can just fire me right now. But I'm going to my dad who needs me more at this time. Now, the president said to me that I'm not going to fire him. I'll definitely put some small penalties on him. And that's pretty much it. Now, here's the full side of the story. Now, for this entire bus, this president is a hero. And the other person who didn't showed up without knowing his name, without knowing what is the reason, he is certainly a villain for the entire bus. Not much. It could have been a big problem, but not much. But on the other hand, only I was there who was willing to get the other side of the story. A lot of time, this happens to us. Judging any person or incident just based on the one side of the story is never a good idea. Many times we spoil a lot of relations, a lot of things with the boss, companies, personal life, just based on because somebody has said something. That's just one side of the story. The entire group, entire coach in my bus walked through the just one side of story. Only I was there who went extra step and tried to find out what's the other side of the story. So on a whole, I would just like to say that there are always two sides of the story, one from this person, one from another person. Try make sure, I know it's really a tough situation, especially at this time of the world where everything is just falling apart, whether it's United States, Australia, India, Turkey, Iran, it's, it's all very crumbled up. So make sure you don't judge a person just based on one side of story. Try to find out what's other side of it. Yeah, very small incident, but really taught me a lot of things for the life. And I'm pretty sure that I'll share more such things along with the code part at this channel. In case you, you liked it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video.